Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about fishing. Alright, now first off I gotta show you that I actually know what I'm talking about. So, if you look at my skills, I am fishing 28. And before you leave, uh, I know that's a low number. If you go to my co-op, uh, underscore young gravy has fishing 41. And that's a slightly higher number than 28. And I've had him go over everything that I'm saying in this. So, it, it's all factually accurate. This is going to be quite a complex video with a few different sections in it and I'm going to go ahead and link all those sections in the description for you to be able to get to exactly what you need to know as quickly as possible. So make sure to look down there for your fishing status or like the quick tips or whatever you need to know. On the topic of fishing, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour fishing stream at 1000 subscribers. My sub growth has been insane recently and I'm actually getting pretty close to it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in fishing, I'm going to be doing a lot of it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the fishing guide. All right. So first off, I'm going to be talking about like kind of three different stages of fishing where you're either a small fisherman, medium fisherman, or a big fisherman. And then afterwards, I'm going to be going over some just general tips for fishing that pretty much anyone can use. Starting off with the small fisherman group, the stuff that you use in this little section doesn't matter as much because you're probably going to be replacing it soon. But I'd recommend using something like a winter rod. It gives a little bit of fishing speed. It gives a little bit of sea creature chance. It's all around a pretty good rod to start out with. Uh, but like I said earlier, you can pretty much use any fishing rod at this stage because you're just trying to get some fishing XP to use the higher EXP requirements. Uh, also at this stage, you should probably use either spiked bait or fish bait. The spiked bait will help you get a dolphin faster and a dolphin is a very good fishing pet. And the fish bait will help you just level up faster. So... Those are the two baits you want to use, and the rod doesn't matter as much, but I'd recommend the winter rod. Um, along with that, you should either use angler armor or diver's armor. Both of these are good fishing sets, though obviously if you have more money, you want to go for diver's armor. Oh hey, the spooky event. Alright, so next up is the medium fisherman category. Now in this category, you've upped your fishing level a little bit. You got bigger biceps to hold your fishing rod. And around now, you should be probably swapping to a more permanent rod, like the Rod of Champions or Rod of Legends. If you're a bit higher fishing skill or if you have a lot of money to spend. Uh, around this time, you should also switch to only using spiked bait. The reason why is so that you can get your dolphin pet quicker. For the dolphin pet, you either want to go to an epic dolphin or a legendary dolphin. I'm going to be getting into some issues with the legendary dolphin later, but so I'd recommend using epic most of the time. Uh, you can always go for legendary. It's not that big of a deal, but around this time, you should probably focus on getting a better rod and getting your sea creature kills up. The final subcategory is the expert fisherman. At this point, you've gotten your super rod and Pokemon. You know what's up with fishing. And around this time, you should be getting like level 25 fishing, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower. But it's around this time that you should look into ice fishing because ice fishing is incredibly profitable if you want to fish up yetis. And that means that you should probably get an auger rod. Uh, this isn't necessary. If you want to, you can use Rod of Legends with Ice Bait, but Augur Rod definitely gives a huge boost to the number of Yetis you'll be getting. If you use an Augur Rod, however, do not use Ice Bait. You either want to use um, Spiked Bait or Whale Bait, and just do not <laughs> use anything other than those, because those will be giving you the most Yetis. But around this time, you will not want to use as much Spiked Bait unless you're in the Jerry event because you no longer need to get your dolphin. Uh, you should have gotten to legendary dolphin or epic dolphin by now, and now you can use the fish bait for faster fishing speed and more EXP. Around this time, you should also have full divers. Uh, you should also have a maxed rod of legends. This is the like max fishing stuff that you should have at this point. And I'm gonna be getting into some of the general tips uh, no matter your fishing level, you might not actually know some of these. So make sure to watch through and see if you can learn something. So for the pots that you should use while fishing, you may just think that you should use the fishing EXP boost and nothing else, but it's actually different. You should use, well, obviously the fishing XP boost, but you should also use magic find to help get rare drops from sea creatures uh, and pet luck for if you fish up guardians or squids or get a uh, flying fish drop, it'll help you get a rare version of that but the thing that most people don't know about is if you use an experience one potion with the vikings tier it'll give you more fishing exp from sea creatures 
uh, we don't know why it says it gives more combat XP but it ends up actually giving you more fishing XP so make sure to use this if you're fishing up a lot of sea creatures and want to get more XP from it if you're going to be fishing a lot you got to get the sacks the large fishing sack and the large combat sack you got to get both of them your inventory will be very clean it's just such a nice thing to have make sure you get those the best place to fish is actually over there in the spider's den uh and i don't mean physically over there i mean in the lobby over there once you get over there you want to grapple over or aote over and like fish over there or in the barn or somewhere with water just in the spider's den lobby because it rains in the spider's den and when it rains you can fish faster which gives you more fishing exp now normally you'd want to do this however if you're like me and you hate people and have social anxiety, then you don't like to do that because there's actually people fishing over there. So if you're like me, you want to go into a small hub and just fish with no one around. A cool trick that you can do if you aren't being lazy is take a rod with a high fishing speed like a shredder or a yeti rod and then another rod with a high sea creature chance like the rod of legends and cast with the yeti rod or shredder and then swap over to the rod of legends once the bobber is cast. And with this, you'll get the speed of the Yeti Rod and the Sea Creature Chance of the Rod of Legends. So it's like using two rods in one. Another trick that you can do that exerts big nerd energy is pet swapping. So what I mean by this is starting off with something like a dolphin that gives more Sea Creature Chance. And then you fish until you end up getting a Sea Creature. Uh, come on, come on, give me a Sea Creature. A, it actually works. So then you type in slash pets, get out your squid and kill it and you get more exp from the sea creature with the higher sea creature chance from the dolphin uh, i don't do this because i'm very lazy but you can if you want if you're using a squid pet to fish and you want to get the double drops from the squid you actually don't get them if you kill the squid with your bobber so like if you throw out your rod and kill the squid like that then you don't actually get the double drops from the squid pet so if you fish up a squid you want to make sure to just beat it with the rod most people know that if you use the Ink Wand's ability to kill a Sea Emperor, you get double drops from this. But the reason that this works is because you use an AoE damaging ability to kill both of the mobs at the same time, essentially killing the Emperor twice at one point. So, the reason that this works is because it's an AoE effect dealing a high amount of damage. So, you could do this with essentially any AoE effect damage type weapon, like the yeti sword or the leaping sword or even probably an aotd would work but you can also use this for rider of the deep now you may be wondering why you'd want to use it for the rider of the deep uh because you get double drops and also since you kill both the mobs at the same time it gives you double exp so you know if you have an ink wand might as well kill them for double exp instead of just the emperors there are a few reasons to use the epic dolphin over the legendary one first off because it takes much more exp to level up the legendary one uh, for practically no benefit, but also because the stun ability, it doesn't prevent Frosties or Emperors from shooting, and to display the number of seconds left stunned, it has to create an armor stand over the sea creatures, which can get in the way of fishing. My last tip is do not, under any circumstances, take sea creature kills from fishermen. They will get angry. To show you the dangers, here's an example of what happens when you do. Oh, he got one. Hey, 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 what are you gonna do about it, buddy? Oh. Oh no. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you found this guide helpful or enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Like I said, I'm doing a 24 hour fishing stream at 1k subs. We're almost there. If it's already there, keep an eye out for it. But other than that, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye!